Hi! Today we will revisit filters. Last time we haven't talked about what happens if we apply a load to a filter's output. Without further ado, let's jump over the bench. A simple RC circuit, 100 ohm resistor and one microfarad capacitor. That should give us a corner frequency of about 1600 Hz. Connect the signal generator's output and open up the oscilloscope. Oh, and by the way, this output cable that I'm using, you can make one just like it for about 6 euros. Just buy an SMA male to male antenna cable, cut it in half and add DuPont connectors. Better than the improvisation I showed in the first video about filters. Anyway, moving on. Let's first test if the filter actually works. Sure enough, we get approximately 30% the drop in amplitude at 1600 Hz, the calculated corner frequency. Now I will add the speaker and see what happens. Now, what is that? This doesn't even resemble what we've got just a second before. Hmm. I won't go into details about how and why this happens. The main takeaway is that if we apply a load to an analog filter, it significantly changes its characteristics. It would seem that we can't make a good audio filter with the RC circuit. And the same stands for RL circuits. So what can we do about it? Enter op -amps. Ta -da! How about we add a voltage follower to the filter's output and drive the speaker from op -amps output. With no load attached, both plot shows exactly the same thing as before. And when I attach the speaker to the output, nothing changes. So here we go again. Voltage followers have a very big input impedance, which means they don't affect the input side of the circuit. They also have a very low output impedance, which means they aren't affected by the output side of the circuit. But this isn't the outro, so there must be more I've been wanting to tell you. And here it comes. op -amps are good for more than just one stabilizing filter's outputs. They can also act as an integrated part of a more complex circuit. Remember how we discussed that a standard RC filter attenuates the signal at 20 dB per decade? We can double the filter's attenuation by making a second order filter. Here is what you want to build. Resistors and capacitors with corresponding numbers represent two stages of a second order low pass filter. I will be using 200 ohm resistors and two 10 nanofarads capacitors. Let's see how this circuit behaves. Since this is a second order filter, attenuation at corner frequency will be 6 decibels instead of the usual 3. 
By adding a pair of cursors, we can see that corner frequency is the same as when we used just a simple RC circuit, but the falloff is a lot bigger than in the first video. Falloff, unfortunately, isn't really apparent because graph scale has adjusted itself to fit the graph. You will notice that gain starts gaining amplitude after about 500 kHz. Just ignore that. Weird things begin happening at high frequencies when you're using op amps, and this is beyond scope of this video. Just to be sure, let's build a first order filter to compare the results. Pull out the first resistor and feedback capacitor and redo the analysis. In this case, the circuit will behave as a simple low-pass filter, like in the first video with the voltage follower. I won't even move the frequency cursor from before, I will just move the gain cursor and fake excitement when it intersects with the gain curve and frequency cursor at negative 3 decibels. Moving on. Swapping resistors and capacitors will, unsurprisingly, give us a second order high pass filter. Schematic will look like this. Corner frequency remains the same as before. Here's a boat plot. Nothing too exciting. 6 dB drop at roughly 160 kHz. Just like before, but this time in a higher pass configuration. Oh, and if we replace the wire between inverting input and output with the voltage divider like this, we can even amplify the signal at the same time. I'll let you try this out yourself and tell you something else. If we can have two low passes and two high passes, we should also be able to mix and match. You are correct. But we cannot use the same circuit we used up until now. We should make another one. Let's take a look. The easiest to build among correct circuits will be this one. This time we get two corner frequencies and also gain which is negative. This will reflect in phase being inverted. I have pre-built this circuit. Let's hook it up on Red Pitaya and go take a look at both plot. Oh look, a hill. It coincides with resonant frequency which equals to a square root of the product of both corner frequencies. And look, a phase unwraps at that point. That's a bit more exciting than before. I could tell you more about which resistor capacitor pair I used for the low pass and which for the high pass filter, but I think you should experiment with that yourself. But before I commit murder with too much information, let's walk out to the outro. So what do you say? Did you learn something? Did you like, share and subscribe? Will this video end in a minute? Let's hope the answer to all of these questions is yes. Goodbye!